What's going on guys? Merry Christmas, Christmas Eve today. Today I'm out here, the new Artemis. Got about, <clears throat> started practicing about 300 rounds into this gun. So I kind of want to go over something real quick that I do when a new gun set up. Um, a lot of dry fire manipulations over the last two days. This morning before I came out to practice dry fire as well, last night, yada, yada, yada. But really the tuning and initial setup of a gun. Um, before this, I was shooting a Nemesis. Perfect return to zero based on my grip, strength, my load, and the springs, right? So that's what we're gonna discuss right now. Uh, first thing I'm doing is zeroing my gun. I do a 25 yard bench rest zero, and then I check it 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 to know my holds. This load is not changed from what I used on my Nemesis or my single stack Titan, but this is a new system. This is the Artemis. This is a five inch gun cut back to a four six. So it's a sight block Ipsic legal gun. There's a reason I have this because I plan to shoot a lot of Ipsic international if I can this year. So it's got an Ipsic magwell and such. It's a 40, okay, and it fits in the Ipsic box. USPSA being the primary right now, I'm still running the 140 uh, millimeter mags. But nonetheless, so what we've done is I've zeroed the gun, I've adjusted my trigger to my comfortability, I've checked on my manipulations, mag button, done everything I need to to shoot the gun accurately. Now the final, one of the final steps is springing the gun to get to return. Now in my Nemesis, I run 11 pound spring, and the drill that we do, or the test I do is from seven yards, and we call it like a doubles drill. So I'm basically taking up one sight picture, my grip that I would grip the gun in a match-based setting, and two is quickly, I'm going one, five, one, eight splits, just in that range of pop, pop, where I can capture a sight picture and two, two shots. The goal is to get the gun to fire, lift, and return. I don't want dip, I don't want wiggle, and I don't want it to return high. So over springing a gun, you're gonna get this. Under springing, you're gonna get this. Over springing and fighting, you're gonna get wiggle, right? So grip strength, spring pressure, weight and balance. So this is a sight block gun, that's gonna help keep it down. So the spring weight that I've figured that I've tested, so Atlas has the spring pack kits, right? And they're color coordinated, which is really cool. So right now I have a 10 pound. A 10 pound is what has come perfect for me based on my grip strength to get this gun to lift and return to the same spot. Now I need to put it on paper. I'm going for an acceptable group at seven yards and I'll show you how I do it. I'll typically do 10 to 20 at variance paces. If I don't flinch, Jesus. Ignore all the flinching. <laughs> I had two flinches in there. Okay, so that's what I do. Now we're gonna walk up, we're gonna look at the target. To make it fun, I put a no shoot on the target. The thing about a flinch is I caught it and I corrected it before I broke the shot. So ignore the head box, that was siding head box. And it's ugly. This is the group we're going for. So I want a fist size group from five to seven yards. Can my fist cover that? Yes. That's telling me when I take this sight picture here, I break, the gun lifts, come back to the same spot, and I'm able to break the shot. So that's a way with any gun, if you're trying to get a gun to return to the spot, there's three elements. Your powder, your load development of your ammunition, which I'm not changing because I have that figured. Your grip strength, the way you grip the gun. And then your springs, the way you spring the gun to get it to return to the same spot. Luckily, I work with an amazing company that does all the ergonomics and design of the gun to help benefit, to make this really easy. You know, I've shot other limited and other divisions where I've fought it back and forth, back and forth, but this setup, super lightweight slide with that block, there's not much force into the rear of the hand. It's a light, light slide, and it balances to where it just snaps back on line. The goal is to make my job easier to where I'm not making micro adjustments. Okay, just like the trigger flinch, it caught me, micro adjust, fix it, fire the shot. So that's the group we're looking for. That gives me confidence, tells me I'm ready to go. 
Um, I'm gonna get some heavy training in now that I've got everything set up. And I hope you guys have a great Christmas and are finding ways to get out and train and compete if possible.